Cecily, how we doing? Elsa wanted to say hello to everybody today. She got a little trim around the eyes so she can actually see now. She can dance, she can da dance better than I can. All right, be good, be good. Don't cause trouble. All right, everyone. Let's stop the music. Let's stop it right now. Welcome to Smell It Sunday, a show that's live where we mainly talk about candles, but all things aroma, uh, and uh, try to uh, chit chat, create a community of positivity, constructive conversations, and uh, to keep up to date with what's going on in the candle industry, fragrance industry, so on and so forth. I see we have we have 20 folks joining us already. So let's let's jump right into the the topic for today. I gotta refresh the page. I'm using a new camera for the live. And so that means I have access to my phone, I have access to the computer, I can hear myself, which I don't want. Okay. All right, so let's read some of these comments. Uh, happy chilly Sunday. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty cold. I didn't want to venture outdoors. I actually was gonna go to a farm market today, and I figured, you know, it's like I'm, I'll save that for another Sunday where it's much more gorgeous uh, instead of these cloudy skies. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Hello, folks. Hello, Elsa. Love the music. Love your shirt. So this is where I was actually going to take you today. This is Minard's Family Farm. Uh, it's a it's a pumpkin pumpkin picking, apple picking, apple cider donut, hay rye, corn maze kind of experience, all wrapped into one. And I'm working on a video. Uh, I, I I I you know I plan to shoot it in the course of two days because there's so much content. Uh, but there's still more that I have to film, uh, get some interviews with the people who run the show, and piece it all together, and I'll have it ready for you guys very shortly. So a huge shout out to Minard's Family Farm, uh, very friendly folks, and certainly if you're ever in the Hudson Valley region, make sure you give them uh, a look-see. Now I'm looking up here. And I don't want that in the shot, but it's too late. It's too late. 7 p.m. here in the UK, says Ruth. Um, that's a good point. Remind me about that later, because I'm completely, where's my coffee? I'm completely down with the idea of changing the time and the day of the week of these live shows. I, I've fallen in love with the name Smell It Sunday, even though it's kind of a little gross and disturbing, but once you know what we're talking about, it's not that gross and disturbing. Are the comments covering my face? I feel like the comments are covering my face. Oh, look at this, Rianne. Don't forget to like the video. Look at this. Support from Rianne. Thank you very much. Um, Bonfire day in the UK. That's a great day to have. Wow. Uh, Cecily, local family farm here is called Eckert's. 8 p.m. in Germany. What are you burning today? Well, I'm not burning any... Well, I'm burning quite a few, uh, like, ambience. Ambient. Ambience. I'm burning some candles to enhance... The, the, the ambient setting, um, but I don't have anything scented lit. I do have, I thought I'd break this out today. I'll show you real quick and we'll jump into these topics. Uh, the turkey and stuffing candle. Now a lot of folks 
uh, really gag at the thoughts or the smell of this candle. But let me tell you, it's uh, truly one of my favorites. Uh, and I think it's a great gift to give. And we're nowhere near Thanksgiving, but I figured so much Halloween, there's been so much Christmas on this channel, we needed some little, so, little something different. All right, Jorge, good night from Spain. All right, Jorge, thanks for dropping in. Uh, all right, everyone, uh, so, so many, so many people are with us. Thank you for joining. Um, is there not football today? Is that the story? Um, so what is the big, the big question is what is a candlefish? And if you follow me on Instagram, you don't, well, you should don't do it now, but remember candle. I know I typed like a three-year-old enthusiast and I, I, I spelled it wrong on Instagram. That's how you follow me. That's the best way to keep up to date with what I'm doing. You know, sometimes when I'm filming something, a lot of times when I'm filming something, uh, that video takes some time to get posted. So to know what I'm doing day to day basis, uh, follow me on Instagram. And while we're at it, I don't know why you wouldn't uh, follow Gotta follow Elsa, right? Because there's always gonna be little hidden Easter eggs on Elsa's page. She likes to give spoiler alerts to what's going on uh, with the show. Oh, well, Kitty, uh, or, 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 Yes, Kitty. If you have to, you English teacher, you have to get up early tomorrow. So let me let me let me jump. I'm I'm postponing the topic. Candlefish. It's kind of like, oh, it's not it's not clickbait, but uh, you've been seeing this on my Instagram page, and I wanted to address it real quick. If you're unfamiliar with the candle company Candlefish, it's something you really should uh, have your eyes on, because although like any mid-level luxury candle. They're a, a bit pricey. Uh, they're creating some amazing products. They smell wonderful. They burn wonderful. They look great. And they kind of follow, they fit into all of the categories that I love about candles, products. So what did I do? I bought, I bought some. See, it says, it says Candlefish. This is what a Candlefish is. It's actually the name of the company. Uh, let's rip into this. I'm just realizing now I do not have my knife, but I do have a pair of scissors. So I won't be doing any evaluations today, folks. I will be showing you some candles. Uh, just be forewarned. But I want to show you what these look like. I want to describe to you a little bit about them it's a, it's a fairly new company they're they're celebrating just celebrating their three-year anniversary they opened up in october of 2014. look at this i love unboxings and look at that so check out so you, your candles come wrapped in a nice tuck box and they are indeed fragile. I don't know what's inside this one. I'm going to put this on the floor. I am not doing this. So this is first of all, non-sponsor video, non-sponsor video. I have to say that otherwise I could potentially get in trouble with YouTube. Um, so this is not sponsored video. Uh, I'm not collaborating with them. I would love to. And they do have candle making workshops. They have, uh, I believe a bunch available in their Atlanta, uh, storefront. So that's something we could certainly do one of these days. So what do we have here? We have number 34. So their library, they call it their candle library, consists of one, number one through 100. So they have 100 plus candles. Um, I love when they, 
they come wrapped like this. Uh, this way there's no jostling, there's no rattling. And nothing could get mixed up inside. Let's see what's going on. I purchased a bunch of number 30, excuse me, 34s. And they're from St. Uh, excuse me, um, uh, uh, South Carolina, excuse me, I just lost it there for a second. South Carolina, Charleston. That's where they're based out of. And if you've ever heard of Rewinded Candles, it's actually the same three ladies who started that business. I think they probably sold that one off. But it comes in this really nice canvas pouch. Uh, I've ordered from them before, so I'm, I'm very familiar with this experience. And if you ever shop at Anthropology, uh, at least as of last year, Anthropology carries Candlefish products. Uh, but it, it gives you the number of the candle. Um, it's kind of like a little toe tag on this canvas bag. Pull this open now number 34 is one that i really was impressed with uh i didn't just pick it at random i had the, the pleasure to smell this one in manhattan and i loved it let's get it out all right can we see this all right oh yeah so they, they have several different formats. They do come in porcelain vessels. They come in travel tins. And uh, they also come in glass tumblers like this one right here. And number 34, uh, this is nine ounces of uh, soy wax. Nine ounces. Um, and it doesn't have the fragrance notes on it. And I'm, I'm not kidding. I totally forget what the fragrance notes were. Oh, that's amazing. That's like, it's aquatic. That's why I had to have picked this one. Oh, this is kind of a, a shame. I gotta know, I gotta tell you at least what their fragrance notes are. Uh, and they're not fragr they're not poetic fragrance notes. They're very specific with their fragrance notes, meaning they're not trying to just give you pretty words they're telling you the oils that are in the candle so candlefish number 34 does anybody else know is anybody a candlefish fan and actually knows but yeah i think my brother would really like this uh eric peter carlson why because He's a huge Disney fan, as I am, and um, his favorite Disney princess, although mine is Belle, his is, um, uh, well, it's a long story. You, ha you have to talk to him. But I, I used to be Ariel, um, and this is like a total, this reminds me of that kind of sea-like, sh on a ship, mermaid, m mythical creature, Beautiful mythical creature. Very, very pretty. Certainly not masculine. Although if that was a cologne, I would wear it. And their website is down. Wonderful. Next step is eBay. So uh, the reason why I purchased all of these candlefish candles is because they're going to be in this month's subscription box. And I should have said that uh, for you folks who are uh, subscription box through Patreon. I have subscription box, uh, two, two, two different types. Uh, I should have warned you because I liked it for all the products to be a surprise when you get them in the mail. But uh, it's uh, one of the, the items that they are going to receive this month is going to be a candlefish candle. 34. All right. Let's see what eBay says. This is ridiculous. Could somebody do me a favor? 
You guys are cool, right? Somebody look up. It's number 34 fragrance of Candlefish. It's probably somewhere on eBay, somewhere if you just Google it. But the website I noticed since this morning is kind of acting a little funky. But uh, there it is. There it is. Uh, yes, Monica, it's a little... It's a little too chilly to venture outdoors today. Welcome, Monica Carlson. Um, but beautiful candle, they burn really well. Just remember, keep, keep the flame low on these soft wax candles, please. Because a lot of people complain about, you know, for good reason. A lot of people complain about, uh, you know, the, the, the throw. Or, or, or the carry, whatever we want to call it, of a candle not performing well. And then they show a picture of the candle and the flame, the flame is up here. And I'm like, well, no wonder the, the, the candle is not throwing well or carrying well because that hot, that hot, hot scorching flame is combusting all of that, that, that vaporized, volatized, fragrance oil. So you got to keep the flame nice and low. And if it's not fully pulling out, this will fully pull out. Trust me, uh, the wax is that soft. Just uh, keep keep something a little warm around, around the border of the candle. You can use a candle cozy. I was showing you one of these little things. I wouldn't, I wouldn't use this candle for this, but a Yankee candle housewarmer jar would work beautifully with this because the flame will be up here. It'll be safe. Uh, but this, I put this to the test with th this, this little chair, this little decorative chair. It's not made for candles, but it holds the heat in for a Yankee candle. It really does. Uh, if you leave a Yankee candle lit like this and you take it out after half hour and you feel the glass, it's hot. It's hot. And that's exactly what you want because if the, the glass gets cold like it is right now, that's when that, that tunneling uh, becomes becomes an issue. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. All right, so candlefish. There's another one in here. The thing is, I bought so many of the 34s. Let's see if I can get lucky and find the other one. The other one I just, I couldn't, I couldn't help myself. Has anybody, anybody burned candlefish before? What's Monica doing? She's taking over the show again? It's all right. It's all right. Tornado watch. Where? In Los Angeles? Yeah, Nancy, uh, definitely, uh, definitely try them out. I mean, if there's an anthropology anywhere near you, I, do, I really don't know if they're still carried uh, by anthropology, but, but they used to be. Da, 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 da. Ah, there we go. So this is a part of what they call the White Collection. And this one is entitled, someone tell me if I'm pronouncing it wrong, uh, Cassiopeia, um, which I've, to my knowledge, means queen. Uh, I, I, total possibility, I could be wrong about that. But I have never smelled this one. So this is exciting. I'm experiencing this for the first time. If I can figure out how to get it out of here. And this one comes in this box. A little dust, it's a little dust. It's okay, that's okay, Candlefish. I, I, I'm not upset with you. Burn 60 hours. Now this is what's crazy. Established in 1972. If this is a Candlefish, Oh, I have to do research. The White Collection. Maybe they purchased a candle company? This is odd, odd stuff, but look at that. 
There's a little bit of nudity here. Just a little bit of nudity here. So children, turn your eyes. This is not meant for your eyes, but look at this label. Come on. Are you kidding me? Okay, so I guess the name of this company is called Spitfire Girl. Um, I apparently did not do my research as well, but it, this was sold to me through Candlefish. So whether, whether they are, uh, what's the word? Um, they sell this company's products or they purchased the company. Uh, I, 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 either way, I did purchase it from them, but here we go. Let's, let's take a whiff here. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's, it's so creamy. So creamy. Perfume forward. And the intensity is not extreme. I mean, for, for soy wax, I don't believe this is going to be a blend. Yeah, it's very, it's very soft. Uh, for soy wax, to get those, this, this kind of a bouquet of wild flowers, soft, clean flowers, flowers that we associate with clean, uh, with some fruit notes, higher frequency notes, like tangerine and orange. but almost like a coconut milk, a coconut rich, creamy vanilla, uh, deep, deep note, which serves as a foundation. And it's, it's not super intense. I love that, I love that. Uh, if you guys know me, you know how I feel about intensities, you know? It's sometimes, it's wonderful to have a candle that can morph and change while you're burning it, while it's airborne, and not be this bombastic powerhouse candle that's really only going to hit you with the bass notes uh, and completely drown out the top and heart notes. Beautiful label, beautiful scent. I, de I definitely don't want to try to break this down um, but again, Cassiopeia, the white collection, and each candle is hand poured with uh, soy wax using only the finest oils made in the USA, and then it says Spitfire Girl. I have to do more research. This is what happens when you have live shows. I think you know it all. And you end up not knowing anything at all. In fact, I thought this was coming in a porcelain vessel. And it did not. But I like, I like glass tumblers. Uh, I like seeing the wax. And I like seeing the flame through the vessel as well. All right. Let's see what you guys are talking about. Nancy, that's pretty. I love white colored wax and clear glass jars. Well, you must love Kringle Candle. Oh, and speaking of Kringle Candle, I never did the Game of Thrones video, and I was gonna do a giveaway because I found a candle made by Kringle Candle that I thought was perfect to burn while watching or reading Game of Thrones, either one. Oh, and that just spilled all over the floor. I have it back here somewhere. Here we go. Now, this is a retired scent from Kringle Candle, so don't get upset with me if you try to look for it and you can't find it. Um, it's sad that it's retired. Uh, maybe it'll be reincarnated through the country candle selection, but it's called White Woods. I did show this on another previous live. I know that's out of focus. Um, uh, I w okay, I will do, I will do a Game of Thrones. Let me, 
I'm, I'm taking this week a little bit slow to catch up on life a little bit before I, I'm going back on the road for a full week as of uh, Monday night or Tuesday morning. And uh, so I, w I haven't been able to watch Game of Thrones. So please no spoiler alerts. I haven't watched uh, almost any of the new episodes. But this one's called White Woods by Kringle Candle. Um, uh, retails for fourteen ninety five, And I don't know how to determine the pour date. But this is paraffin wax. Oh man, it's cooling, so it smells cold, but it smells like straight up, like you took a deli meat slicer, but instead of putting deli meat, you put like a log of cedar in that thing, and you started shaving thin, thin slices of cedar wood. And lots of green notes, lots of wintergreen, eucalyptus, all the wintergreen, at least, in, enhancing that cooling sensation. Uh, just, you, this is why you have to love Kringle, because you just, all you have to do is let your imagination go, and uh, th that is totally believable. But why it, I think it's great for Game of Thrones, you know, uh, especially like the earlier seasons, Beyond the Wall, you know, the White Walkers. And, uh, you know, there is something... Um, medieval. There's something very ancient about this smell. So it's not just the snowy uh, environment up in the north, but it does have this majestic kind of king, queen, knight in shining armor effect to it. It, it brings those images to my mind. So White Woods by Kringle Candle for any Game of Thrones fans out there. eBay is probably going to be your best bet. Oh, look, there's fragrance notes. Uh, I really don't enjoy when they do this. Um, but uh, So Kringle describes it as Nordic Cedar. I don't know what Nordic cedar is. I've never smelled that specific variety, if it is a variety. Nutmeg, incense. Incense, yes, but I really don't smell a whole lot of smoke, if any at all. So don't be turned off by that. Golden spices. So does that mean toasted spices? Because what is a golden spice? So toasted spices, I think they mean. Yeah, certainly, certainly. But golden spices and nutmeg is a little bit redundant. I'm not picking on Kringle. I'm not. I'm not. Uh, black pepper. Yeah, definitely. Uh, orange rind. Again, uh, I just find that like any candle, any perfume, any cologne is going to have citrus. I think that's just the way it goes. Uh, unless it's like a novelty candle, like, like Christmas cookie or something, which even Christmas cookie has like a lemon extract thing. Um, name a candle that doesn't have citrus in it. I'm sure you can think of them, but they're not as easy as you might think. And the last vanilla, definitely vanilla. Vanilla is that classic base note that holds everything it's just like a big bowl it holds everything and makes sure it takes it takes the edges off of anything harsh makes it soft makes it smooth makes it smell creamy and we have another unboxing to do oh uh, this is a great question mike westhead asked you mentioned poor date do different candles degrade at different rates if stored for a long time? Should they have a use-by date, do you think? Uh, well, Yankee Candle does recommend for the large 22-ounce house warmer jars that you use them within four to five years. So, I wish this was a less 
complicated question, but it's a very good question. A lot of top notes uh, go away. They fade very fast. But bass notes can hang on forever. So if it's a top note or mid note ba or heart note based candle, uh, it has the potential of expiring or changing uh, or mellowing out much quicker. It's the same thing with cologne and perfume. I mean, people still, they, people collect colognes from the 70s because they hold up so well. Um, and then there's colognes that you open them up and you have like six months to use them. Uh, so a good example of this would be, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, a little shout out to Cecily here. We're looking at a candle that's approximately uh, 19 years old. This was the second release of the very famous Yankee Candle Witch's Brew. There was only one look, one release that predated this candle. And, uh, okay, I don't have this year's right in front of me. It, well, I do, but it's the soy wax one. So let me grab the 2016 Witch's Brew, okay? So if I have these two, and I smell the one that's almost two decades old, oh my God, I mean, that's, this is, this is Witch's Brew. It's strong, it's powerful, it has all the notes I'm looking for. So because this is a bass note, mid note, hard note, um, dominant candle, it's going to hang on a lot longer. This is uh, hung on for two years, or two years, two decades. Where this candle right here, uh, a year old, definitely some variances, a little bit stronger, but also keep in mind that the, the how Yankee Candle makes their candles, the fragrance oils, the wax, the wax, the technology, the whole industry has changed within the past decades. And, you know, I do believe that every year, uh, not every year, but I find a, most years, Witch's Brew becomes a little bit sweeter and sweeter and sweeter. And that is the case for that 2015, or excuse me, 16. On the flip side, let's see if I have a super old one. Uh, let's get a black band out. the only one I have right here before me. It's uh, This is a mistletoe. So this is, I can't put a date on this. This is before they had a, a system, at least that I could recognize, that had um, a date that it was poured on. And then I do have, I might as well grab it. And then I have... A 2014 mistletoe right here. This smells like dust. This smells, this smells like, like, um, like if you you packed up all your Christmas um, decorations, a wreath. Oh God, I don't know, mistletoe, and uh, you you box them all up and you left them in the basement. Uh, this has a very dusty, dusty, don't think of mildew, don't think of anything gross, but this does have, it smells old. It smells old, but it's no question in a blind smelling that I would be able to identify, I think I'd be able to identify that scent because mistletoe is so unique, but this does smell fresher, cleaner. Uh, the pine actually smells more lively. So... Maybe this is not a great comparison because there's others that will fade very quick. Marshmallow candles in general fade very quick. Right here, I have an early 2000 cranberry chutney votive. This is pretty old too, a lot of years ago. And through the plastic, still amazing, still amazing. 
Um, smells just like what I would expect. Yes, dust is not always a bad thing, and especially Cecily. You should note this, right? Walking into an old library, you find that ancient volume of text. You pull that out of the stack of books, and you open it up, and you smell those dusty, aged, decaying pages. Maybe they're not pretty words, but the smell is really nice. Basement smell. Basement smell can be moldy, and that's definitely not good. But, you know, the, you know, I always remember my grandmother's basement. It smells like cold stone. It smells like cold stone. And, you know, of course, the ancient, I keep saying ancient, I apologize. The, 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 the very old, 100 plus year old house that's right on top of your head. So when you're walking around, you're getting the smell of old house and cold stone. I love the smell of that basement. Uh, definitely go for it. UV candles. UVcandles.com is joining us. I think we have a gift. Something to open from UV candles. Let me just make sure there's nothing on this box. Okay, yeah, there's nothing on the box that I'm afraid to give away. Uh, I don't know how to open. Okay, and it says here, hashtag Halloween, never too late to glow, exclamation point. Please review. Uh, I have received your emails, uh, UV candles, and I have received this box at some, at some point during this week. I just don't know how to slice it open. So uvcandles.com. Uh, I wanted to wait to do all my research before we actually checked out your products, but I think it's pretty pretty safe to say that if you're called UV Candles, wow, it's in there, um, that uh, they're going to react with UV light, maybe not UV light, or ultraviolet light, yeah, nah. or black light, phosphorescent light. And I remember in the email, what's going on here? In the email he said, have your black light ready. I don't have a black light. Um, what I have are LEDs that shine blue so we'll see if that works but it may not so i just want to give you a heads up this is the most well packed package i have ever seen in my life uh what does uv stand for ultraviolet unless uv.com uh you have another kind of secondary meaning behind UV. Ultraviolet is part of the color spectrum that we cannot see. That's why we have to wear UV protective sunglasses because it can do damage to our eyes. Oh, man. All right. We got them. We got them. Black light candles, sick, I love it. Yeah, right? Uh, I was uh, totally, totally playing and toying with the idea of doing something similar to this back in my entrepreneurial days. Let's see what we got here. All right, so it looks like we have, and please let me know UV uh, candle if I'm wrong, but an unscented, looks like paraffin wax. It's a pillar candle, um, uh, but you know, would fit any, you know, fit any votive holder. 
Look at that one. That's from Kringle right there. Isn't that great? I love that. Uh, let's get that. God. Black light. I have no idea where it is, of course, because I'm always hyper prepared. Well, let me unbox the other ones while I kind of take a look around. I know it's in the office somewhere, the black lights. Here they are. Aha! Right next to the fog machine. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. So I hum and sing to try to pretend like this is not dead air. That's exactly what we're dealing with right now, it's dead air. Because nothing's happening. You may or not, may or not, may or may not be watching. But I'm trying to entertain you with the humming of my voice. All right. Uh, crud. There's a there's a controller. Here's the controller. On. This is, this is, this is, oh, there we go, okay. Turn off the, ah, oh, it's hot. Turn off the lights. Turn off the lights. Give us a little bit more darkness. Darkness is good. All right, so I think that's a significant amount of blue black light-esque illumination. Let's see what happens here. Oh yeah. Can you see that? I'm gonna put it up against the dark part of my shirt. I mean that, that is crazy. That is crazy. Let's get a little stool. friendly work for me here maybe it's this one there we go All right look at that candle glow yeah that's pretty cool I won't lie uh, what I would totally do is create a base, like think of like a nice candle base or plate that you could sit this candle on and rig up some of these LED um, black light lights underneath it. Uh, so this way you don't have to have a light shining on it. But totally cool, totally cool. Let's see what's in this next one. I wonder if this is Another pillar, it is beautiful. So I'm guessing because the name is UV, uvcandles.com that that is, oh, 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 no. We got some, we got some color action. All right, so I'm glad I opened that up. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, pro that's hard to catch on camera. But that is really vibrant. That's crazy. You ever see like like when someone's standing next to a black light and their teeth glow? Mine would never glow. Too much coffee. But that's the effect. It's like super, super white. Remember that, that episode of Friends where Ross whitens his teeth? It's reminding me of that. Very cool. Very, very cool. There is another box. And it's a bigger box, so I'm curious. 
thank you so much, uh, UV candles.com i'm gonna link you up in the description box below and you know i think these candles are fun for anyone of any age kids gotta love stuff like this but i won't lie this is something i would totally do And it's not season specific. Okay, maybe this one is a bit season specific. That is. Look at that. Um, a lot of detail on this human skull. And I put it in the palm of my hand. That's uh, Hopefully you can kind of get an idea of the size. That's, that's a pretty... It's a pretty decently large size skull candle. Oh, and look at that. I'm seeing, oh, let's just light this up. Look, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right, I'm doing the best I can with the tools I have, but yeah, there is a red brain inside of this skull so not only uh, do i see that that red skull now it's not super prominent or the red brain but as you burn this imagine what's going to happen that colored wax is going to start to drip and illuminate or not uh, yeah it's going to create those illuminating colorful drippings all down the head i even see a little bit of green in there as well very cool very cool um if you guys are wondering if i enjoy unscented candles i do i really really do um you know sometimes i have to resort to them because you know if i'm doing if i'm drinking coffee or if i'm drink you know having dinner or something like that i don't want any kind of candle and uh, impairing, uh, you know, a nice glass of wine or a nice dinner, unless it complements the dinner. So I do use scent-free candles all the time, or scentless candles. So uh, once again, uvcandles.com. Thank you so much. And for you folks watching, make sure... Yeah, red brains. Um, that's t that's really cool. Um, at first look, I totally didn't notice, but if I hold it up to the light, it's in there. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll do a time lapse video of this burning, so we can see this burn uh, at a very rapid pace. All right. Uh, so it looks like there's certainly options as well. Again, all of this information will be uh, in the description below. Once this video is officially uh, uploaded, that takes about 45 minutes after the conclusion of the live video. Very cool. Very, very cool. If you have sent me anything in the mail and I'm not opening it today, uh, don't worry, it's just I haven't uh, been able to access my P.O. Box in uh, several days. Um, so if there's stuff there, it's waiting for me, it's safe and sound, and I will be sure to open it on our next live video. I love it. All right, I'm going to have to break out the vacuum after this one. Making a mess here. Ba, 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 ba. Wait, what? I'm just gonna read this comment. I have no context behind what this means. Monica Carlson, but even in late 90s, potato was used. 
what, how this conversation has taken a turn, apparently. And then she responds with, ha ha, I love potatoes too. Could eat them five times a day. Why are we talking about potatoes? I mean, I'll talk about potatoes if you want me to. But how did we get to that? What else do we have? Uh, we have lots of stuff to show. Uh, I want to show you real quick uh, a few items that are up on the Candle Enthusiast eBay page. Again, this is not my QVC speech. I'm not a salesman. I just want to warn folks that there's some items up there. Uh, really good prices uh, right now. And uh, so please make sure you check it out. Um, I start all of the auctions at 99 cents. And as I always say, 100% of the proceeds... Uh, go right back into the show. So whether it be gas in the car to travel, whether it be staying in one of those, you know, really creepy hotels that I always have to stay in, I try to keep it very, very, uh, I try to be very frugal when I'm on the road, let's put it that way. All right. So let me take that link. Again, don't do this now. And this will be in the, uh, the description box. But this is going to be the, the eBay li link for the Candle Enthusiast. It's actually Aromatic Adventures. Uh, but what's on there right now? Well, what is uh, the very popular U.S. candle right now? We, uh, of course... Uh, you know, Anthony, Candle Cafe, huge shout out. This is going to be, I believe it's his favorite uh, of the new lineup this year. And I totally understand why. It's a beautiful candle. Uh, this was purchased right uh, at the, uh, the South Deerfield Village flagship store. So it's never traveled long distance. It simply was moved from the factory down the street into the village. Uh, but what's special about it is it has the limited edition. That's correct. I'm calling it a limited edition. Limited edition 2017 Merry Christmas, the candle enthusiast label on the back. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like it. Monica likes it. My mom obviously likes it. I think these are cool. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do every time I go uh, for every season, I'm going to do like a limited edition. Sometimes it'll be three, sometimes it'll be six, but this is up there right now. Um, so I, you know, I don't know, you know, this, like I said, if you want to support the show and you get a kick out of seeing this guy's face here, I look pretty good there here, nah. but here I look pretty cool. Um, and we got beautiful snowflakes. Uh, that's up there. That's up there. What else is up there? I have this cranberry chutney, almost 20 year old votive up there. It's at like 99 cents. Awesome. If you're a collector, you got to have this stuff. What else is up there? There's lots of stuff. Da -da. Da, da, see, I'm humming again. All right. Da, da. All right. So this was these were a bit of a mystery. Let's get that that platform again. These were a little bit of a mystery when I first found them. I think I kind of figured out the mystery by now there's not three of them i've counted six of these uh yankee candle bird collection uh you see we have autumn rain which is very close to november rain if not exactly the same gotta love november rain the song good tune and good scent and autumn twilight uh even down to the color 
very, very similar to crisp fall night or in the UK, autumn night. And um, also these have, these are the last, the last of the limited edition. 2017 this is just a precarious situation altogether i can put this away now limited edition i gotta say that with enthusiasm limited edition halloween 2017 candle enthusiast label the last two and if you i don't know if you can tell but see uh it actually is designed like the european label or the old label it has that banner uh, as far as the genre, uh, I don't know if you can read that. It says spooky. It's a spooky fragrance. Uh, so that's autumn twilight, and then the same thing with, or autumn rain, and then same thing with autumn twilight. These are the last two. The Christmas one says, ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. It says ho, ho, ho. Um, but this one is interesting. This is a one of a kind. Uh, this was featured in several of my videos. I think it's pretty cool. I don't, I honestly personally don't like having pictures of myself. Uh, so I'm giving this one up, but this was me at the Halloween preview party this year on the red carpet. Uh, where they had fine folks taking um, photographs and then putting them on candles. That is me, the candle enthusiast, standing uh, right there on the red carpet, camera, vlog camera in hand. This was the only one I made, and the candle is Harvest Bouquet. So this trio, even though it's not really a trio, it has six candles of housewarmers are gonna be up on eBay. And honestly, right now they're like going for like $3. So there's a really good chance you can get your hands on these super cheap. Um, and I have no problem with that because I feel like in a lot of cases, I made a lot of money on candles that, um, you know, I made a lot of a lot of funding for the show, so I have no problem with giving candles away for a small cost sometimes, especially if somebody really really wants it. Coffee, and this will be coming to eBay soon. A lot of you folks probably found it uh, at your outlet, but this is not an outlet candle. Okay, uh, this is. Um, a perfectly fine two wick tumbler of one that I think we all were a bit upset to see um, retired. And I don't know the story, but in 2017, they made a bunch. It was probably just a short little pour for online exclusive. This is going to be gingerbread. And please, please, if you if you're you know if you're a baking spice fan, uh, if you're a gingerbread fan. If you've ever seen my uh, Nightmare Before Christmas burning this candle next to Black Magic, get this candle uh, before it does go away forever. This is easily my favorite gingerbread candle that I have ever smelled. Uh, and being that it's in this two-week tumbler, it's probably going to burn wonderfully and spread all of that deliciousness across uh, your home. That will be going up on eBay soon, soon. Okay, I'm done plugging the eBay. Done plugging the eBay. Ask Anthony, ask Anthony from Candle Cafe. I've given him two shout outs on my show, but I love the guy. Um, ask him what his favorite gingerbread candle was, is. Also, something that's coming up, a little sneak peek of what's to come. Uh, uh, you UK viewers, you're probably sleeping right now. But if you're interested in the UK European Christmas collection, I still have to do the autumn ones. I still have a few autumn ones that I have to uh, review. But I have all of the Christmas UK candles ready to go. 
and uh, a huge shout out for Lisa because one of them was a gift from Lisa, one of our sub lovely, lovely subscribers, loyal follower, uh, and probably my favorite of the bunch, Christmas Magic. So I will be doing my full review on Christmas Magic as we get closer to uh, the holiday season. We're, we're in the holiday season, but as we get a little bit closer, uh, Perfect Tree is going to be uh, another of that trio. Then there was Spiced White Cocoa, which was released to us last year as uh, a part of like the, the Beverage Libations collection, but it was an online exclusive. So if you wanna see my review on that, look at my Deerfield Christmas Yankee Candle collection review from last year. Uh, it was definitely a highlight to review that candle out of all the ones I reviewed that day. And I'm still looking for the large jar. I really am. Uh, but this one is really being, it's, it's very difficult to find and you probably even can't even read it. It's a uh, crackling wood fire um, is going to be the last of those, uh, the, 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 the kind of the, the four candle set for the UK. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I have a lot to say about that one. So keep your eyes open for that. I just wanted to give you a sneak peek of what is to come. And there just might be more from Deerfield very soon. Very, very soon. And, uh, and I'm still looking for bourbon wood barrels. Uh, honestly, that is not one that I've ever come across in all of my scouring. I could probably buy it online. I'll just buy it online. I will do that. Because that 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 needs to be evaluated. Kitty Jenny. I have crackling wood fire in my collection. Wonderful candle. Lucky lucky. Yeah, so Mark Mark Smith is still working on his Halloween candles. Yeah, so Cecily, she says, uh, my dad used actual bourbon wood barrels cut in half as planters. Well, I worked, uh, again, I feel like I'm always saying this, I worked in Napa Valley, lived there for a long time, and um, I'm telling you, um, a brand new French, a brand new French oak barrel, brand new. Fifteen hundred dollars, fifteen hundred U.S. dollars, and um, what would happen is some of the wineries, after like three, four years of use, they didn't want them anymore, right? And um, they would just give them away for free. These things smelled amazing, uh, so I would do just that. I wouldn't use them for planters, but I definitely would make fun little, you know. Uh, beer flight holders out of them, candle, you know, candelabra kind of things out of them. Um, you can make so many things out of barrel uh, staves and they smell amazing. Napa Valley truly is a magical place and just a little shout out to Napa Valley, all my friends out there. Um, um, you know, uh, I hope, I hope, I hope things are getting better. I know there's a, a lot of recovering to do everybody in California with these wildfires, uh, wildfires and even more so Sonoma County. I was distracted for a moment by B, B Roma, w Romer. So we know this is L Laura, right? Laura, if you want to email me at um, this email address, da, 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 make sure I get it right. Email me at that uh, uh, email address and
I will have this out to you ASAP. Uh, medium 14.5 ounce Yankee Candle non-outlet Merry Marshmallow uh, just for you. Uh, I don't know, you just... You made me feel so upset by your comment. Where was your comment? She used the crying face. I'm down to my last Merry Marshmallow. So I have one for you. This should get you through the holidays. Uh, just uh, contact me through that email. Give me a shipping address and I'll have this out to you ASAP. Uh, it's hard to tan. I do. And where is it? And why are you asking, may I ask? Is it because we think it is a repackage of something, perhaps? I do have it. Give me a second, I'll have it out in just a moment. Um, Non-outlet, uh, tart to tan. Uh, you know, honestly, I spent a lot of time in culinary school. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, uh, but I certainly am familiar with these types of desserts. And uh, this candle is truly amazing. Yeah, there, it's kind of been, it's been floating around the internet for a couple months now that um, the fresh baked apple cake cup uh, in the U.S., a part of the cookie swap collection for 2017, is a, a duplicate of this. And I cannot confirm it yet. I certainly can't confirm it yet. Why? Because... I've only smelled um, fresh, fresh baked apple cake cup in, in a, um, in, in a like it smelled it cold, in, like on a votive. That doesn't work. Um, and I was gonna buy it yesterday, but got tied up doing things. And since I am going to Deerfield really soon, I figured I'd just bring this along with me. And I do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Now, I won't be able to tell you as a fact whether or not they are the same or different, but I can surely give you my opinion. And by smelling it cold, it definitely, if it's not the same, it's playing by the same rules. Definitely, definitely. Imagine you have a fresh, really high-quality apple pie you know like put the stuff from the grocery store out of your mind talk about grandma's apple pie or what i'm familiar with the apple pie bakery within the culinary institute of america in hyde park new york they make this apple pie with granny smith apples granny smith apples that's like that thick well imagine you taking a pie like that and scraping everything out after it's been baked and just smelling the crust, the dough on the bottom, the bottom of uh, that pie. That's what it smells like. You smell this kind of raw, half-baked, nice doughy uh, apple pie crust. And there's certainly tons of spices here. Um, just putting that out there. Uh, but nice, beautiful oxidized apple aromas, oxidized apples. I just mean like, you know, really well spiced apple sauce or apple pie filling, um, uh, Mott's apple juice. Very, 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 very lovely candle. Um, so I, I anticipate not reviewing uh, giving my evaluation of that candle next to, I guess, the soy wax fresh baked apple cake cup. I can take this hat off now. I made this. I made this. That's right. 
So you can do you can do crazy things. I don't want to lose the viewers right now. But if you want to do like a Peter Pan or Smurf thing, you could totally do that. You know? Or like, I guess that's more like Robin Hood. Or if you want to do like something like, like that. See, it's it's a cha you, you can do so many things. That's stylish, right? They should make hats like that. Just a little, just like a little knob, like a little lobe, on the back of the hat. Oh wow! Yes, be safe, Cecily. No tornadoes today, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. And I, Monica, I did see your comment about the sugared apple. Sugared apple, that's all it's called, right? It's, uh, they did uh, bring it back online. I don't know if they still have it in stock, but they have it at the flagship store. They had like, like hundreds of them, it was crazy. Fireside is amazing. I'm not giving any... I, I am. I'm totally giving things away. Expect a rather in-depth video on Fireside coming soon. When I, when I say in-depth, I mean it. That's all I'm going to say. And Bell Book and Candle. If you're watching, you're not here, I don't believe. But if you do end up watching this, Bell Book and Candle... Um, I got a little surprise for you. Just ordered sugared apple. It's on its way. Good for you, Brittany. All right. Uh, what else, else have I knit or crocheted? I don't know. I mean, I, I scarves. I mean, nothing comes out good. Um, okay, and Eduardo says, yeah, or yay, yeah, I like yeah, big video soon, I'm waiting. So this kind of brings me into the last part of the headline of this video. If you look at the, the headline of this video, it says, big changes for the future, um, with much thought, careful consideration, uh, day after day, since I started, I'm on my 15th month, um, 14th mo 15th month of the Candle Enthusiast channel. And the way I'm looking at it is when we get to January 1st, um, that is, even though it's been, that would be much longer than one year, that is officially going to be the end of season one. Um, and big changes are coming starting January 1st. Um, nothing is a huge secret, but, um, I just had to make some, I had to make some big decisions because... I've been getting an overwhelming, an overwhelming amount of folks reaching out to me saying, I love, I love your videos that are long. I love your videos where you're traveling. I love your videos um, that are based on aroma, but not necessarily me sitting down talking about candles like a, a crazy man. And... You know, there. You know, a lot of frequently people say, "You know, please, please make more of those. Why, why don't you make more of those?" Those are the videos I want to make. Those are for me. When I make those videos, those are labors of love. I love making those kinds of videos. That's why I introduced the aromatic adventures title to distinguish uh, the candle enthusiasts versus aromatic adventures, and. Um, as much as I love pumping out candle reviews, excuse me, candle evaluations, it's not why I started this channel. Uh, the, to me, this channel was more about 
exploring aroma, including candles, a lot of candles, and the industry and learning as much as we could about it, but also going into depth about, you guys know this, I'm always talking about this, how aroma plays a huge part in our lives, how it creates a bookmark for emotions, memories, images in our head. Uh, aromas are much more than just to determine our surroundings, uh, to determine food in the wild, right? Memories are photographs um, in our head that, um, you know, it's been a fascination of mine, been a passion of mine since a child. And I really want to explore this topic. And I don't want to just be sitting in front of the camera preaching to you guys. Because a part of this process is for me to learn. I want to hear other people. I want to get other people's opinions, advice, things that they've learned and discovered. And I figured because I'm doing this and I've made the choice in my life right now to go on this journey to follow this passion of aroma that I have, why not document it? Document it and share it with everyone and anyone who cares to join, to watch, to share their input, who wants to collaborate, who wants, you know, who want to leave their own feedback. That's what this show, this channel is about. It is sharing passion for aroma, including candles, including candles. But I feel like what, what has happened is that my initial, my initial goal, my initial plan was taken a little bit off course because um, you guys really responded well to my candle reviews or candle evaluations. And so I'm always going to review candles. I'm always going to review candles. But for those of you out there who enjoy the more on the road, attraction based, visiting different states, visiting different historic locations, traveling while looking at the world through our nose and learning, educating ourselves, uh, again, with others' help and your help, uh, that is really where the direction I wanna take this channel. The problem is that kind of content doesn't bring in hundreds of subscribers. Right? I can spend a whole week on an episode that I think is amazing. The Norman Rockwell video that I did last year, I think is a great example. I filmed that thing on a cell phone. So, you know, it doesn't look fantastic, right? Nor does it sound fantastic. But I, I filmed it on a cell phone in legitimately 24 hours. It, what you see in that video is what I experienced. It wasn't dramatized. It wasn't, it wasn't scripted in any kind of way. And when I watch that, I'm like, wow, like this is something I would watch. I would watch this often. And my heart, my heart wants me to go back and do these. Because even though I do throw in like the pumpkin blaze, I, I released that a couple days ago. You know, they're, 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 they are short, shorter. And, um, you know, I just, I, I just feel like they're... Um, I want, I, want, I want to find topics that I can really sink my teeth into. So, long explanation short. Christmas, Thanksgiving, we are going to be reviewing and staying on top of Yankee Candle and other candle companies. We're always going to talk about candles, but we're going to be seeing a little bit more in-depth videos. What I called those videos last year, the in-depth videos. Truly sinking our teeth into... A subject and at the same time uh, putting out the in-betweens videos the in-betweens are what I go through personally what I go through producing these videos because when I the finished product I want to make it look like it was the easiest thing to to put together the truth is <laughs> already this season I've gone through a crazy amount of trouble of trying to do something Getting permission, losing permission, getting the okay, losing the okay, uh, weather, 
has uh, been a problem. And to me, it, it's, it's frustrating. But I find others find it kind of funny. And I think it, when, when I watch it in retrospect, it's kind of funny. So I, I, I just, I collect a lot of footage of me making these videos that I can quickly edit. So this way I can post things while I'm on the road. I can quickly just edit them in the hotel room and throw them out there while I'm on the road for like a week. So how does that sound? Wow, nothing has been said. Uh, love the in-betweens. I know, right? And there hasn't been one for a while. Uh, the reason is because I don't, I haven't had like a big road trip in the past couple weeks, but I have a lot of like snippets that I'm going to glue together for the next video that will be coming soon. Don't feel bad about how much you laugh during the in-betweens. I want you to laugh. I want you to laugh at my misfortune. I think that's, I think that's... <laughs> Anyone who uh, is a part of my family or our close friends, I mean, they, they, we, we all do it. We laugh, constantly laugh about my misfortune. It's, a, it's, a, it's therapeutic for me. <laughs> um, Nicole says, love the direction you're heading. See, I mean, this is, it's, you see, you see this? Hearing someone, somebody say that makes me so excited. Um, and something I kind of forgot to mention, uh, we just have to be, as a community, if we want to see these videos, maybe you are here just for candle uh, evaluations. And that's fine, because I'm going to do them. But um, for, for those of you who really like the other stuff, Santa's Village, the, 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 my trips up to uh, New Hampshire, trips all throughout New England, you know, filming locations, historic locations, museums, uh, hope to do roadside attractions, kind of like Adam the Woo style. Totally will give him credit for kind of stealing uh, his style from time to time. But um, I want to do these things. Uh, so if you haven't seen any of those videos of mine that are not really candle related, check them out. Start off with some of the the videos from November and December of last year. Check those out. See if you like them. But what's important is that the channel keeps growing as far as subscribers and views. If we're not growing, we're not going to be able to fund the show and the show's going to stay stagnant. Uh, we don't want to just stay in New York and, um, you know, in, in New England. I, I want to be able to travel the country. Cecily said, uh, and... Oh, and she even she's even familiar with Justin Scard. So Justin Scard, another, in my opinion, great uh, vlogger, YouTuber. Um, Cecily left a comment like, "Have you ever th thought about visiting Marceline, the hometown of Walt Disney?" Yes, I have. It's something both Adam the Wu and Justin Scard have have done, and that's just the kind of stuff I wanted to do. So, um, but. If we don't have that fan base, we don't have that following, uh, we can't, we can't, we, you know, things like the eBay, things like Patreon uh, won't really fund that kind of traveling, unfortunately. So we all need to take an active role. It's not a popularity contest for me. I don't care. If there was five of you watching, I would do it if we had the money. But it's super important that we're getting the views, we're getting the subscribers because if we're not growing at a rapid pace i don't want to say exponential we don't need to grow exponentially but if we're not constantly growing and if we looked at the journey over the past five months um the growth of the channel has really s slowed down and it concerns me because it's it's essentially the future of this channel so we need to all take an active role. Share the videos with your, your loved ones, your friends, your family. Recommend a video. Um, I don't need financial support. You do not need to be a Patreon member. You do not need to buy merchandise. You do not need to 
buy things off of eBay. If you want to, they're there and they're always super helpful. But my content is always and forever will be 100% free for anyone to watch over and over and over again. But this has to be a, uh, uh, an oiled machine, a self-funding machine uh, so that we can afford to do new stuff. So that, that that's my little... That's my little thing um, about that, you know, f big changes for the future. Um, that really does, to me, that those are big changes for the future. And maybe we're looking also at a secondary channel too. I'll just put that out there. And I should say, since we have 59 people watching, wow. Thank you for joining. Uh, I think this is probably, the, that's the biggest turnout for A Smell at Sunday. And as soon as I said that, two people left. Uh, uh, but make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Hit that thumbs up button. Um, that, I mean, you, you don't even know, unless you are a YouTuber and you do know how much that helps me out. Just a little click. Let's get that number up. Um, okay, I think Cicely, you're still talking about Justin Scard. Yeah, Justin Scard is, a, is it's amazing what he can do. He does have, he's got a lot, a lot of money coming in through Patreon, more than I would ever ask for. And he also does have some people specifically funding some of his travels, which, great for him, great for him. He gets to visit Disney Paris all the time. Um, but I think we can keep this show on the road without the amount of subscribers as Adam the Woo, Justin Scar, or the amount of money they were pulling in through Patreon. If we, if we do eventually one day hit that, fantastic. And we will be going abroad and we will be going to really fun places. Uh, New Orleans is a place I certainly uh, want to visit just during the cooler season. <laughs> Nancy says, I was nervous for a second there. No, there's nothing to be nervous about. Uh, just trying to unfold, spread, spread my wings, if you will. Spread our wings, because I want to make sure that we're constantly growing in an organic fashion. Um, yeah, and you know, now that um, Gonzo says, uh, I think the eBay is a good idea. Some of these small kennel companies as sponsors could work. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I'm working with these small candle companies. They're not sponsors. You know, I could easily say to them, like, hey, hey, send me a candle. I'll promote your candle. But you got to give me a little moolah. I'm not doing that uh, because that's completely against, like, <laughs> the whole thing I want to do for small candle companies. I want to promote them, to help them, to highlight them. Um, so all of the candles that you see me getting in the mail, um, a lot of the time are going to be, they are gifts to me. Um, a lot of times they're not, it's coming out of our, you know, my pocket, the, the funds for the show. Um, but none of these videos are sponsored. And th when the day comes, if something is sponsored, I'll be happy to tell you right up front I have nothing against sponsored videos people have already accused me of is Starbucks a sponsor of your show I'm like are you kidding me I would love that but they are not a sponsor of the show how many minutes are we looking at here we're almost at one hour and a half we're 15 seconds away from it so I'm going to let this run for a couple more seconds. Throw me out some questions. And not that you haven't been th throwing me out questions, but it's so hard for me to read all of the comments while trying to keep 
train of thought uh hey you know uh you know i'm not even sure how to pronounce her name but is it haran or joran haran joran uh thank you for that trust me you're not alone you're not alone um in fact um I feel a lot of people who put themselves in front of camera, put themselves on YouTube, suffer from a lot of things that uh, you suffer from. And it, it aids in the process and, the you know, kind of uh, uh, helps you conquer some of your own inner demons. And that's certainly been the case for me. If you told me a year ago, or I guess it's more than a year, if you told me two years ago, to even listen to the sound of my voice recorded, I couldn't do it. And now, um, working on 150 plus episodes now of The Candle Enthusiast. Ah, Rachel, she got me, she got me. Will you post part two and three of those Coventry candles? I will, I will. They're actually edited. They're already edited. Um, there was two issues there. Uh, well, well, I had to go through them and color correct them, which is a pain because if you remember, there was fog machines, or one fog machine, and there was a lot of lights, and I'm using different cameras, so each camera captures, you know, a different quality image, or not quality, but looking image. So I have to make everything look homogenous. So that's the only thing I need to do, but also I was losing a lot of subscribers with those videos because instead of just doing like a flight of four, like reviewing, a, you know, doing like a haul of four candles, I was releasing them one at a time, which I thought would help out with the views, uh, would help out with people who don't want to watch all four candles, but just want to watch the one video. Uh, but I remember posting those videos and... Uh, watching the subs subscription numbers, subscribers go down immediately. In fact, if anyone wants to do an experiment, look at the number of my subscribers before one of my live videos and after. Always goes down dramatically. Uh, so uh, it's just a careful balance. You know, I'm trying to maybe push those off just a little bit. Maybe in a week where I'm really busy, I can post those. So this way I'm posting things uh, that are already done. Uh, like when I'm on a road trip, I can post one because I have nothing to post when I'm on the road because I can't really edit a lot. And industrial wasteland, I appreciate that. Uh, well, I appreciate all of your support, massive support from Industrial Wasteland. Uh, definitely deserve more subs. It's it's not the number that concerns me. It's it's the continuation of the show, and it's certainly not a popularity contest. The '80s music video will get you subscribers. Are you trying to suggest, Nicole, that I should make an 80s music video? Like, I should do... Like, how am I going to do that? I can't use copyrighted music. I can put little clips up on Instagram. Oh, okay, so you guys have seen it. So you do follow me on Instagram. Yeah, I was... Honestly, so when I'm editing... I'm not kidding. When I'm editing... I procrastinate. I work all day long, seven days a week, uh, on candle enthusiasts, other projects, other means of financial, taking care of myself, um, kind of stuff. But when I'm editing, like a high school student, I procrastinate all the time. So sometimes I'll just stop for a half hour and edit something. And I edited that video, uh, Cutting Crews, I Just Died in Your Arms Tonight with a lot of slow motion video of me that looked like an 80s music video. And I do it simply to send to Monica, Monica Carlson, through a text message, just to make her laugh. But 
I thought it was funny enough where I could post it on Instagram and I was it was trending under cutting crew for like five tapes. Cutting crew. I just died in her arms tonight. <laughs> Football's on. I will see you guys later. UVcandles.com. Thank you so much. And I'll say it one more time. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the, the, the products. But also, everyone, make sure you check out UVcandles.com. See what they have. Buy a few things. If not, follow them on Instagram. Share some love. This is a company who honestly uh, cares about programming like this, watches programming like this. Uh, we want to support them. And from what I see, those candles look pretty darn cool. Uh, my son gets more subs by being a little crazy. It works for him. You mean like, like if I put on, like, if I made a fool out of myself, like I wore a hat like this, a Yankee candle, and I was acting more ridiculous? Would that get me? We've, we've, I've discussed that. I'm like, should I put on a persona as the candle enthusiast? I don't want to do that. Eric Peter Carlson. Great show. Big smile. The blushing smile. Um, always makes my day to hear that from Eric Peter Carlson. Uh, Mel Barnes says, I was late. So what are the big changes for the future? You're going to have to really rewatch this video when it's officially posted. Uh, d nothing to be concerned about. Nothing, nothing scary. Nothing to be worried. The show is over. No, I'm kidding. It's not over. Um, but um, I'm really going to change gears a little bit. I think it's important to not stay stagnant and to always be evolving and always to be changing and to be following your intuition. So I am going to slowly start to um, uh, transition the majority of my videos to more of the aromatic adventures versus me just sitting in front of the camera like a crazy man talking about candles. I'll keep everyone up to date with my opinions, my thoughts on stuff like Yankee Candle, the holidays, um, and of course, small candle companies, but I want to go out to the candle companies. You know what I mean? Like, I, I don't want to like have them send me stuff. I want to go to them, to their shop, to their factory, talk to them. I think that's more useful for all of us. Be yourself, Shane. We love you as you are. This is, this is how I am. Thank you. Yeah, uh, a few people said the same thing, Mel. Um, that hat makes you want to knit some candle cozies. A little shout out to uh, Music City Beauty from Nashville, Tennessee. I don't know your real name, but she made this this like custom made cozy. It's not knit. But look at this. This thing's great. I got it wrapped around my crisp morning air candle. To protect it from light. I don't know if she's got an Etsy, Etsy shop. I wanted to give her a, a shout out, but I don't think she has an Etsy shop. And I don't know if Eric Peter Carlson's still here or Monica's still here. But would you guys like to see Eric and Monica? If you if you don't watch Eric, uh, his channel is Eric Peter Carlson. He does Disneyland vlogs. And just, if you trust my opinion, take it from me. He, he, he produces the highest quality Disney Disneyland, probably Disney World too, uh, vlogs out there. Uh, would you guys like to see them involved in some candle enthusiast content? I would. So we got to make that happen. 
Look at this. Nicole says, my son likes Eric's vlogs. He likes that he's silly. Eric is pretty silly. Eric and I, even though, uh, you know, there's a couple of years in between us, as ki since we were kids, young enough to barely even pick up a camera, we were making, making movies and skits and performing in one form or another. Um, and it's just funny to see us now, like, in our 30s, and we're making just as silly content as we used to when we were kids. All right, folks. Is Eric older or younger than you? Ha <laughs> ha. What do you think? What do you think? Leave that in the comments below. Also, in the comments below, let's do a question of the day. We haven't done a question of the day in a long time. What place, anywhere, in the U.S., let's keep it to the U.S. Got my little curl action going on. What place in the U.S. would you like most to see an episode of Aromatic Adventures? This could be a museum. It could be a town. It could be, uh, it could be you know, like a roadside attraction, like the largest file cabinet in the world, something crazy like that. What, where, what would you most like to see me visit? Anywhere in the U.S. Let's start with the U.S. Because if we start doing global, then it becomes not really feasible in the near future. Leave that in the comments below when this video is finally posted. If you haven't hit the thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. This was one of the highest turnouts of any of the live Smell It Live videos. For uh, So I, I, I hope that's a, a great sign. To me, it is, I think it is. Um, expect a lot of really, really heartwarming in-depth content coming up. We're gonna, like I said, we're gonna step back a little bit on the candles once I re get a chance to evaluate everything. And we're just gonna have a whole bunch of relaxing, heartwarming, holiday, special, rewatchable kind of videos being posted uh, for the next couple of months. Uh, I'm, as we speak, uh, kind of going to start packing up, getting ready to get on the road. I will be gone for one full week. Uh, I will, I don't know if I'll be doing lives. I might do a live. I might. But uh, expect the in-betweens episodes as I travel. You will see those. And um, huge shout out to Burke and Hair Candle Company. This was uh, a company that makes uh, spooky gothic candles. Really great stuff. And I really wanted the video to be done before Halloween, but you know, they were so busy with their orders. They didn't get the candles to me to, you know, really last minute. And I really tried to get it done before Halloween. And I just, I told them like, it's just, it's not going to happen. So expect Burke and Hare, look them up on Instagram. You'll be immediately intrigued at Burke and Hare Candle Company. That video will be coming soon. That is it, folks. Remember, eBay, Monica, call me. Call me. I just said I was going to be packing. Uh, eBay, uh, definitely check out the Patreon a link in the description below. Just, if anything at all, just for curiosity. Uh, if you're uh, 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 expecting a subscription box in the mail, they are all ready to go. It, they're just getting better and better every month. Um, every month they're themed. Uh, so there's a whole story going on inside of these boxes. So definitely, uh, for those of you who are getting this subscription box, it's going to be a good month. And if you're interested, there's only a few slots left for those subscription boxes. You're going to find out at patreon.com slash the candle enthusiast. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I will see you guys later. I guess enjoy football. I guess the football's on now, the, the football. Um... I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for joining me today. And uh, Elsa says goodbye and Santa says goodbye as well.